In the VFL slash AFL history, we have seen many teams have awesome seasons, so that's why today I'll be going through Fremont's almost perfect season back in 2013. To start off the 2013 season, Fremantle held their close town rivals, the West Coast Eagles. They end up getting the job done by 28 points, an awesome start to the season. Next was round two, Fremantle held Western Bulldogs at Marvel Stadium, and you named it. Fremantle got the job done again, a perfect start to the 2013 season going 2-0. In a close, tight round three game, Fremantle unfortunately went down by four points to the SM Bombers, 68 to 72. This will be their first loss of the 2013 season. Later on, Freo played Richmond at their home. Close game, then Hayden Ballantyne kicks an awesome goal to put them up by one point. Can you believe it? What a game it is played here in WA. Then before you know it, time is ticking down. Only five seconds left. Will Richmond quickly get a goal? And there's the sign, Fremantle win, what a game this was, one point win to the Fremantle Dockers. However, fast forward to round 8, Fremantle were playing Sydney Swans at the SCG. In the final quarter, 6.06 left, Fremantle weren't looking good, they were down by a fair bit. However, ball was up and it looked like Sydney were going to win. However, around 3.25 left in the final quarter, Fremel have caught up a bit and then they get a mark inside 50 and launch it from long and they will kick a goal to put them down by one point. Maybe they can win this game. With three seconds left in the final quarter, scores are leveled 70 to 70. This will be Fremel's first draw of the season. Going into the next round, Fremantle just had a draw and they are playing Melbourne. However, this will all be different. Fremantle will end up be winning by 90 points, a huge margin after just having a draw. And Chris Main will kick this goal to make it a 90 point game. And he gives the crowd something to cheer and to go home with. Purple's back. It's cool and it's stylish. And it's trending in 2013. It is now halfway through the season. Fremantle sitting fourth with seven wins and two losses and one draw. An awesome start to the 2013 season. What will the second half bring? To start the second half of the season, Fremantle will be travelling to Adelaide to play the Adelaide Crows. And they did indeed get the win. In a tight, close game, Fremantle won by seven points, 66 to 59. Fast forward to near the end of the season, round 20, Freo will play in the GWS Giants at their home. Freo, to start off the final quarter, they got the ball straight away and ended up kicking the goal in under 20 seconds. Heading towards near the end of the game between Fremantle and Giants, Fremantle will be seeing their biggest ever winning game by 113 points, 157 to 44. After this game, Fremantle will then experience two 50 plus win games in a row. This will be three games they have won by over 50 plus points, 113 over Giants, 95 over Dees and 74 over the Power. However, in the final game of the 2013 season, Fremo unfortunately go down by 71 points to the St Kilda Saints. It is now the end of the 2013 season. Fremo got three 50 plus wins in the season over the Giants by 113, 95 over the Dees, and 74 over the Port. They also did get two other games that were almost 50 plus points 45 over the Suns and 40 over the Lions. To end off the 2013 season, Fremantle finished third, going 16 5 with one draw. To start the finals, Fremantle will be travelling to Geelong to play the Cats at GMHPA Stadium. This was the game where one of the best Fremantle moments occurred, with Stephen Hill getting the ball and taking a long run to then eventually kick the goal to send Fremantle into a home preliminary final for their first time. Tendai Mazungu, disposal number 11. A minute 38 remaining. They lead by 10 points. It's Fremantle's game to lose here. Sander lands the big fist. Oh, oh look at that hill. Change. Somehow off the interchange bench and into his hands.
Gibbs. Maybe it's Fremantle's day. Walters is on. Hill keeps going. This to send them into a home preliminary final for the first time in their history. Frio are at home in the second last week of the season. Fremantle would then go on to win the game by 15 points. Fremantle's next game in the finals was up against the Sydney Swans. This was the game they needed to win to make their first ever grand final in AFL history. Hayden Ballantyne kicks his remarkable goal and it looks like Fremantle can play in their first ever grand final. This is the final few seconds of the game and Fremantle players and fans know they're going to be in the grand final. Perth tonight. And they are going to go absolutely berserk. Sandilands. An opportunity here. Smith gathers, looking for their first ever grand final. Fremantle will play Hawthorne in the grand final. Siren sounds, 25 points. On Saturday the 28th, 2013 at 2.30pm, Fremantle will be playing in their first ever grand final at the MCG up against the Hawthorne Hawks. Will Fremantle win their first grand final? We're all about to find out now. The ball is up for the first quarter of the 2013 grand final and it's already a tough fight. At quarter time, Hawthorne had 15 points to Fremantle. They just had zero goals and three behinds. Not the best start. Now is the start of the second quarter, and yet again it is a tight contest to start off the quarter. A few minutes have ticked by, and Fremantle get a mark to have a shot at goal. If they kick this, this will be their first goal ever in a grand final. He lines up, and he will kick the ball, and there's Fremantle's first ever goal in the grand final. Now there's some hope for Fremantle. It is now half time in the grand final. Hawks 5 goals 5 35 to Fremantle 1 goal 6 12. He's now the third quarter and Matthew Pavlich has a mark for Fremantle. If he kicks this, this will be two quarters in a row Fremantle have kicked the first goal. He kicks it and Fremantle have kicked the goal in under a minute. How would they go for the rest of the game? At three-quarter time, Hawks only lead by 10 points. Hawks, eight goals, eight behinds, 56. To Fremantle, six goals, 10 behinds, 46. There is only one more quarter to go in the grand final. Fast forward to near the end of the grand final, Hawks' final score is 11 goals, 11 behinds, 77. Now for the moment we've been waiting for, Fremantle's final score in their first ever grand final. Fremantle will finish the game off with... 8 goals and 14 behinds, this will make their score 62. Hawks will go on to win the grand final by 15 points.